Eight school. Fred Cowgill with sports and Reed Yaden with weather. This is the Channel 32 News 6 o'clock report. Good evening, Liz Everman is off tonight and topping our 6 o'clock report. Another day, another drop on Wall Street. The Dow plunged 157 points by an earlier than usual close. And tonight, as Sandra Hughes reports, some local brokers are predicting a possible market disaster larger than what we've seen unless the president makes the right moves. The board continued to reveal the bad news even after the stock market closed. Experts put much of the blame for today's drop on foreign markets and domestic panic. Just one week after the biggest plunge in history, the market is still ailing with no sign of immediate recovery. The ripple effect of a market like this uh, could be devastating. Uh, I know I was considering buying a car for my wife, and after seeing what's happened to my securities, I had second thoughts, and I'm sure that's true throughout the country. Although trading on the New York exchange is still high, 310 million shares today alone, Lewis says unlisted stocks are taking the worst beating by this drop. At Hilliard Lyons, brokers anxiously tried to reassure clients not to panic and not to sell at the low price. But no amount of reassurance will stop the rumors running rampant on the streets. Uh, my major concern is that the, the market is going to go down to the point where the whole economy is going to go to, pardon the expression, hell in a handbag. I think people should be worrying more about what we're going to do about the deficit because I think the stock market could very well be an indirect symptom of a bigger problem. Although President Reagan has talked about a tax increase to aid the ailing market, just when and if that will happen is still up in the air. But some brokers say without a presidential bailout, the market is headed for certain disaster. Sandra Hughes, Channel 32 News. On Telepol tonight, we're asking people about the volatile atmosphere on Wall Street. Our question is, do you think the Reagan administration is doing enough to stabilize the stock market? We'll have the results tonight on our late news and again tomorrow morning with Bill Francis at 725. Louisville's Porter Paint Company today announced it will be sold to a British chemical and industrial products company. Courtholds of London, England will purchase the 65-year-old paint company for $140 million. Porter Paint officials say the acquisition will give the company access to greater markets and the capital needed to ensure continued growth. Under the agreement, Porter will continue to operate as a separate entity. One of Louisville's oldest companies might be feeling its age tonight. The 108-year-old Vote Company has been hit by a strike, and tonight all 700 employees are on the picket line. Melanie Welsh is standing by for a live update. Melanie, what seems to be the snag in the negotiations? Well, Rick, the snag is health benefits, and that's causing all the commotion among union members. It's different. Considering you're losing 500 a week, standing out here doing this, arguing over insurance. And so it goes. Health benefits are the reason Mike McQuellen and 700 other members of local 1693 Steelworkers Union are out walking the picket lines instead of inside working for the vote company. A new three-year contract was on the negotiating table. It's now off. Union members rejected it. It's over uh, the changing of our present plan, Blue Cross and Blue Shield, and going to a comprehensive...